This is Spencer with MacGuffin. I'm joined once again by Melanie Linsky. Once I again. I think this is the fourth time, and I think this is also the fourth film or whatever you've been on for. So, I think um, so, yeah. Welcome back again. Um, but is this the first time I've talked to you by myself? I feel like I've always been with other people. Uh, yeah, you might be right about that, actually. I, I, well, I maybe you know for teddy bears, or I forget what the end title yeah. ended up being. It was uh, several people, but yeah. this is for Rainbow Time, which is premiering here South by Southwest. Mm -hmm. A family drama. Um, I want to start by talking about the sort of circumstances. This is, you know, a Duplass Brothers production. Mm -hmm. You've sort of become part of that family. I don't know, I don't know if you've worked with them prior to the togetherness, but no. now, now you've worked on, was it Animals? I did, yeah, I did a did voice on Animals, that. that's now right, yeah. Togetherness season yeah. two. Uh, what is it like to sort of become part of that family and then therein become part of the family in this film? So oh, I mean, it's such a kind of dream team. I, I really love what they're doing and they're so loyal. Um, one of the most amazing things about working with the Duplasses is they have this crew of people that they work with. Everybody in every department is so good at their jobs and because Mark and Jay are so loyal, they just have this wonderful sort of like family feeling on their sets. Everybody knows each other. People have worked together before. If they can, like if the movie gets sold, people make money like all the they, they crew members have a well -oiled machine. they have it's a great like a system of films at South by South yeah years, and people want to work with them and people are happy when they are so it's like they just have this whole like infrastructure that's just works seamlessly and in terms of the family in the film you're sort of I, I don't know where to so you're the girlfriend of Tim yes the infatuation sort of of also Linus um, you're sort of connect with the dad Tobin you're sort of yeah. like this glue in a way there but you're also dealing with your own conflicts with your disillusion of your marriage with Jay Duplass was yeah. like sort of trying to find this character with all these different sort of entanglements that are presented to her it was interesting I felt as though she did not know herself very well and I felt like she was a little in denial and, and not to put a judgment on her but I think there are some things that she's not the brightest about I think she's a little sort of like just sort of happy and I, mean, I think there's definitely an element of denial oh like, for I mean, sure a scene where she jumps in the car and pretends uh, her boyfriend's a Uber driver where it's like oh yeah just unwilling or, or when you're in the, the meeting with Jay yeah for your marriage being disillusioned and you refuse to deny any sort of responsibility yeah. so it seems like there's an unwilling case of Sure, she she does not want to take any responsibility, and she also just kind of she's not very present in herself. So it was an interesting person to kind of create because I feel like even though she's sort of obsessively like defining what it means to be a woman and how women should be treated and what's right and what's wrong, she lets herself be an object a lot of the time which is a really kind of weird position to be in. She lets herself be defined by other people and how her husband feels about her, how her boyfriend feels about her. And I think it's easy for her to get angry at the world and not get angry at specific people or herself. Well, then you're sort of put in between this. I, calling it a battle might be an, an aggressive yeah. word, but you're put in this conflict between these two brothers uh, and sort of have to kind of, I guess, mediate sort of between them, but at yeah. the same time, in, in trying to mediate, you sort of aggravate both of them in a certain way. Yeah. What was it like sort of working with both Linus in that regard, and sort of how did you sort of balance that character in trying to be, I guess, a people pleaser in that regard? Yeah. I mean, it was interesting because she's clearly doing things that she doesn't want to do a lot of the time. I don't think she really wants him to take a picture of her but she's just like this seems to be a thing that you want and like even you know she's taking her top off and she's like which is the least sexy thing <laughs> I made the least sexy face I could imagine um is someone just looking really uncomfortable and then you know there are moments with Shanzi where she's not really being appropriate and she doesn't know how to handle it and, sort of, yeah, enabled yeah. as inappropriate behavior. Totally. Like, the grand of his brother. Yeah, and he's like, I know better than you. And she's kind of like, no, 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 this is the way to do it, and this is how it's going to work. And, you know, she just doesn't... Uh, so, in trying to, you know, 
know, your character is sort of an interesting place because she has her own arc in the story. I mean, mm. Obviously, there's this family drama that's a huge portion of it. It wasn't like trying to carve out your niche in that sort of thing and make your character story with her divorce and whatnot sort of stand on its own legs. It's interesting. I sort of felt like that was Lin- Linus's job. Um, That's a good idea. Push the buck to someone else. I like that strategy. I don't know. Is brilliant. Like, <laughs> yeah, outsourcing. Make, make it work, yeah. Linus, make it work. Yeah. I mean, that's a great way. To I mean, because he he did a cut of the movie, and then he said, "I feel like we need another thing with you and Jay," which sounded great to me. Which is where the thing came up in the lawyer's office, uh, we, and we shot that scene. Um, and that was helpful for me to have a little bit more background and it tells people a little bit more about her relationship and how she operates and stuff like that. But but I'm, I wasn't watching the cuts or, you know. I, I, I mean, I'm not an actor, but I imagine, mm-hmm. like... It's one of those things that where I watch videos and stuff I've worked on, and I notice every little imperfection. I think it would kind of drive me nuts if I were an actor. So watch myself act and just be like, what happens if I just rate my eyebrow like half an extra? Angle? Oh, yeah. I can't even. I mean, my uh, face is going to do... I do the craziest things. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably best thing for that. I know. So, I mean, besides this, you have togetherness, obviously. It looked mm-hmm. like you had a whole slew of other films on your IMDb upcoming. Oh, yes. I think you're one of the hardest working actresses in Hollywood. Thanks. I'm going to coin that. Um, what else should people stay tuned for? I mean, obviously, Togetherness Season 2 is on the air. Yeah, right it's on the air right now. Please watch. <laughs> I, I Please. definitely promote it to everyone. Oh, I think thank you. Anyone who watches it seems to enjoy it. People who watch it love it. Obviously, another MacGuffin favorite is on uh, there, as well as Mark Duplass. Yeah. Um, so many great people. So, oh, yes. Yeah, so that there's that. Um, I did a movie that my best friend wrote and directed uh, called The Intervention, which was at Sundance. You know, maybe 20 years from now, they'll create a documentary about you, like Bandit, which is about the Burt Reynolds, Hal Needham friendship that created Smokey and the Bandit. Oh. Maybe there could be a documentary about you two someday. That would be great. Yeah. There's that. What else? Um, There's many other things. That was a very exciting one for me because I got to go to Sundance with Clea, my friend, and and that was great. Um, What else is there coming up? God, I don't know. Where's the best place to keep tabs? Do you like to post about that stuff on Twitter? Do you have a website or anything? I post about stuff on Twitter when it's coming out. Yeah. So follow you on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, Twitter, sure. Yeah. 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 Um, Sometimes there's stuff on IMDb that's not true. Well, I feel like we should make up something that they falsely put on there. Yeah. I'm trying to get (laughs) Steve Zissis to be the star of Transformers 5 or whatever. Oh, perfect. Um, Let me end with this question, though. Um... Steve Zissis wanted to know about your mafia. Why do you love mafia so much? And why are you Steve so good Zissis at... Steve wanted to know that. I've tried to start a rivalry between the two of us since we're oh. both like favorites of the MacGuffin, so he, he wanted to throw that out there. Why do you like mafia so much and why are you so good at it? Uh, well, I love mafia so much because it's the greatest game in the world. He's also obsessed with it. And he did not come to my last mafia party because he was doing something with J. Duplass. But if he had, we played three games of mafia and I was not in the mafia any of those times. So everything he says about me is a lie and don't trust him. Well, it's just pretty much what we've come to expect with him. To yeah. With, so no He's just a there. giant liar. He's going to lie about people being in the mafia. He's, he's just trying to take you down. I appreciate this. Hopefully we can build this rival to to like a real uh, epic thing. Um, Thank you so much for joining us again, Melanie. Thank you. I can't wait to see whatever you do next. We always enjoy it and we always enjoy talking to you. Thank you. Best of luck with everything. Thank you. Everybody go check out Rainbow Time and Togetherness and stay tuned for everything else, I guess. Okay. Gaza can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's tight. Don't even try to bite the side of the side. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.